It's Bourbon Night. It's a fly fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have something interesting and exciting here going on, don't we? We do. We are doing a foolproof weeded fly fight. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so we recently just cracked into the Weller foolproof, and we thought, hey, that, that could be four. Right, because we also just recently got the Larceny Barrel Proof. And, you know, we should say that the Weller Full Proof technically isn't barrel proof. They add water when it comes out of the barrel to take it down to the entry proof that it went in at, which is yes, what? Uh, 114. 114. Technically not barrel proof, but we're still up in that hun right. you know, 110 well, you know, to 120 we just, range. We couldn't find four technical and there there might be ones out there but we're, we're more sure. like the big distilleries yeah. type of ones so that a lot well of people known. have access to even though a lot of these are hard to get so there's lots of little asterisks here but nevertheless a fun flight fight yes so sarah <laughs> what's in this flight fight in this flight fight we have weller full proof at 114 proof makers cast grain at 112.2 proof William LaRue Weller, 2018, at 125.7 proof, and Larceny Barrel Proof, batch A120, at 123.2 proof. Okay, so yeah, lots lots of asterisks. Of course, we have a very limited edition one in here with the William LaRue Weller, that's right. the 2018, because we don't have the 2019, it's the one that we have. Right, and probably just as limited and hard to find and expensive not as expensive, but the Weller Full Proof. Um, right. The, the one that we have is the only one that I've ever had the chance to purchase. Yes. Uh, that we've had the chance to purchase. It's so. also a pick. We should say that. It's Another from, asterisk. Right. From a liquor store called High Acres, which is in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Regardless, this is going to be a fun flight. Irregardless. Irregardless. <laughs> so let's get started with Bourbon A. I'm having a hard time with the nose on this it, one. It's got a nice, pleasant nose. I just can't put my finger on any specific thing that I'm picking up, but that sometimes happens to me, especially with Bourbon A. It's just sort of, even for being a wheater, it's just sort it's of like very mellow. baking, a little bit of baking spice in there, and I don't know what. Yeah, you're right, this is kind of hard. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a taste. Yeah, let's give it a it's taste. It's just nice and pleasant, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's that proof, there's that proof. Whoa. 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 I got more oak on that than <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> Yowzas, caramel brittle. Just the, the the proof is giving off this spice feel. But it's not spicy. But you get the heat on the sides of your tongue just yeah. from the proof. Oh wow. Which I think can sometimes be mistaken. I think that's how people get so tripped up um, when they're doing like blind flights and they're supposed to pick out the rye. Yeah. If you put a, a barrel proof like weeder in there, it can sometimes pass. And yeah. I think it's just because of the barrel proof. Right? Concentrate on where it's hitting where you. Where it's the hitting tongue. you, right, because it's hitting me on the tip of the tongue. Yeah. That is nice. Yes. Um, it's really silky. Mm. Kind of has a clove spice to it, though. I just get a, a fair amount of mm. um, like nice toasty barrel. Yeah. And um, maybe like a really light milk chocolate. Real easy. Oh. A lot more caramel. It almost has a floral accent. <laughs> like a vanilla scented. Mm. Candle. This I want to make Fresh into laundry. a candle. This is nice. Ugh. <laughs> Fresh laundry though. A summer what breeze. What is that? A um, walk on the beach. Well, running through a meadow. If I were gonna write a singles ad, this this bourbon could write it for me. Looking for a jaunt through a dewy summer meadow. Dark salted caramel. Yeah. And... I want. I'm gonna drink this. It smells Ooh. like it's got some maturity oh. to it. Oh. It's not exactly what I was ex expecting from the nose. It's more floral, perhaps a, a turn to the to the bitter. At least having a little bitter, yeah. Having a on the palate, right. at least. I get a little turn. Licorice. Little, mm, yeah, you got that too. Yeah. Just to, just a hint, just it, a hint. My, in my, my licorice spidey sense tingled a little bit, and I knew that you'd be picking it up more. Which is like the me. only thing that I have a problem with. Well, let's because... go in second sip. Okay. Now we're acclimated. Enough. The front end of this though, it's like the brown sugar and the floral and the, uh, the char. The licorice is less the second time, but no. it's still Ooh, just a- man, the burn on the, the front of the burn. top. You know what I'm getting now, second sip is more uh, baked bread. I'm getting more bread quality. Bread. Uh-huh, but man, it really lights you up. 
Ooh, oh, that's nice hello, too. Hello. You know what? Hello. I'm really enjoying this bite so far. <laughs> yeah. High proof weeders? Mm -mm -mm. People at home are like, man, screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. Get out of here with all that. You have these to, to, to drink along. But if I Sarah, could make sure that you all had all of these, I would, but I just what, don't have that power. What if Makers comes in first and WLW comes in last? That's something that could happen. What if- I mean, we have to accept that if, when we put the flight together. Right. That's why we do them though. It would, wouldn't that be interesting though? Cause Makers cast drink is something that everyone could go out and buy. That's right. This nose though. It's beautiful. It's got a little cinnamon. Beautiful. It's got a little butterscotch going yes. on. Yes, it's exceptional nose feel. Ooh. Oh, stop the presses. I think this one's got the mini, the most um, wood forward of the ones we've tried so far. This is me stopping the presses. That's where the press is stopping. Stop those presses. I want to do one time when we discover something, you know, the spinning newspaper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or is that Batman? Pretty exceptional. It has the exceptionality. I feel like it's high proof, but it's not coming off hot at all. Oh, really? Oh, I think it's... Really? It's getting me a little bit. Well, um, maybe I just forgot because I was so just in love with the taste here. I think here. It, it really moves through some different phases. It starts out like when I first take a sip on the tip of my tongue, the sweetness, it's so sweet. Oh. And I think that's, you know, obviously the corn coming through because the wheat is so mellow. Um, uh -huh. It's like very, very uh, sweet. Okay, it does build. It but does. then it, it builds, it, it gets hotter on and the, it gets- um, The side cheeks. More, yes, those side cheeks as opposed to your back cheeks. It builds, I think it gets more of that wood influence kind of comes in. Um, I'm uh. having a hard time getting anything other than sweet and that wood, but you clearly are a fan. I feel like, uh, what's his name that on barrel. SNL? Barrel. Bill Hader's character, Stefan? When, when he does the uh, the news thing? Not fair to follow Bourbon C. It's almost got like darker It smells tones. like A. It's harder to pick up. Yeah. But it's it like darker. Yeah. Deeper. Molasses or sorghum. It, yeah, it, 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 it something... smells like a very slow moving uh, <laughs> syrup. liquid. <laughs> syrup, yeah, basically. It, it's good, but. Yeah, those are like darker sugars. I feel like I just want to drink it. I think we should. Oh, okay. Oh, that's got a lot of char. Better than the nose, I'll say that. Man, these this are going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Like, they oh. each have great things about them and their own little personality. I feel like I'm on like, um, what's that show? Uh, where it's like three contestants and then there's a wall and you're asking them questions. Oh. Um, Is it Blind Date? Blind Date or. Is that what it's called? But I like them all, how will I choose? How do we bug chat? The, the dating game. A brain Maybe? scratcher. The, da the dating game? Well, clearly these are barrel proof. <laughs> clearly. Cool, well, hey, we did round one. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna cover these up. We're gonna take about 20 minutes to let our palace reset, come back and do round two. Before we do that, we wanna let you know about our home on the internet. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this new t-shirt, the Drink More Bourbon t-shirt. Drink more bourbon Glen Cairns, drink more water blind glasses. Thank you, Bennett. The yeah, well, It's Bourbon Night uh, Glen Cairns. Actually, stock, are, stock is low on this Glen Cairns right now, but more are on the way. More on the uh, way, but t -shirts, from Scotland. T-shirts are fully restocked right now, uh, sizes small through 4X. At the time of this filming. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's whiskeyambitions.com. Uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And for as little as $1 a month, all that goes into uh, supporting the channel, helping us buy new bottles so that we can do flight fights like these and tell you what to spend your money on. As well as, you know, you get patron-only podcasts and little polls. We do meetups and barrel picks first to the patron community. So there and, you go. And uh, the new after the episode show. Ooh, the after, after the bourbon night. For, for patron. The late night bourbon night. <laughs> That's right, Exclusive bourbon night patron. after dark. After dark. All right, uh, we're gonna take a little break. We'll be back after this. And we're back. Nice little break. Palettes reset. Yep. Round two? Suppose so. I get a nuttiness this time. I know. Where'd that come from? I'm personally Slight. not getting that as much. Slight. Yeah, this nose doesn't jump out of the glass. It's just super mellow. It's nice. It's pleasant. There's nothing not to like. It's just like, hey, I'm here. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm here. That's cool. That's What's cool. Up? I'm a nose. It's cool. But it's, yeah, like you said, it's good. It's nice. That makes me want to drink it. So let's yep. do that. Now, the thing I will say, mm. the flavors are good. There's nothing not to like about a... But the finish for me is like 
pretty short, which I expect more from- She, from, she demands more. I demand more. No, I just expect more from something in the full proof category, like- Barrel proof to full proof. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> that, that area, but that it old is, chestnut. You know, weeded is supposed to be milder, sweeter. I don't know, I think even on the palette, and this is something I was not picking up in round one, is a slight nuttiness. Second sip, the finish lasts a little longer, but it's already starting to, to taper off and... I, I seem to remember in round one, A did go into the hug pretty quickly, so I think we might just be a little mm, used to the hug. Perhaps. And not as susceptible to it. I am feeling it. a little warmth, mm -hmm. I won't lie. Yeah, the second sip definitely, yeah. definitely did it. Oh, did, that, I, nose, well, that nose, that nose, that nose. I declare this nose the most different of the four. I feel it's more pungent. Dark um, barrel, oaky char. It stands out. Ca dark caramel. The most, Brown yeah. sugars, mm -hmm. delicious. I don't know. Yeah, those things. If you can't tell, I might like bourbon bee. <laughs> I don't know, It. you know what this reminds me of, which is sort of weird, is like a vintage nose. It has- I agree, that's why yeah? I said first time around, I feel mm. like this tastes older, or like it has more layers, you did that say maturity. That. Yeah, I really feel that way. Can we go to the tape? Uh, no, we we don't have that. We don't have the tape. We don't have that function. Mm. Uh, there, the producer's telling us that we don't have that function. I'm just kidding. There's not a producer over there. Screw you, man. There's you, a dog mm, looking at us. She can be the producer. You got it coming. I, I gotta be honest with you, Sarah. This one is a little. It, it's got the punch. It maybe it's a little less refined, if you will. <gasps> I don't know that I agree with that. Mm. It does have a few little edges. It's got some edges though. Um, It's got a couple of edges. My only thing that I'm like not wild about is that hint of licorice. Ah, true, it comes true. somewhere towards the back half. And I feel like that's kind of- Just a kiss of licorice. Hanging out in that what we are identifying as vintage area. Perhaps, it's like, yeah. it's, it's in there. I don't know though, I like the mouth feel. Are you getting- apple peel on the finish with this one? I don't know why, but the way you were like pausing and mouthing things, I thought you were gonna say eggplant. Are you and I like, was like eggplant emoji on this one? <laughs> Netflix and chill? I mean, <laughs> with this a one? little. Ah. Oh, this nose though, Sarah, this nose. Now I'm getting like, this nose. Very cherry. This nose is eating a lot of nose. I feel like I've done that before, but bringing it back. This nose. I'm gonna wait for his moment to be over. It's never over, Sarah. I know, I've been here for four years <laughs> and I understand <laughs> that it's never over. This is an exceptional nose. Cherries and berries Cherry. and honey and mm. tea, oh my. I get like cherries and tea and yeah, that herbal. I don't know that Lions I'm digging it. Lions and tigers it. and mm. bears. I don't know that I dig it so much. There's something delicate about this sip. It's what I, I I think on the palette this one packs the least punch. It does start a kind of a creeping heat and building sort of um, you know yeah. across the tongue, but the initial sip on this is just like very delicate, very easy. I feel like this one is relying the most on like a char punch. Um, but the- I'm not getting a whole lot of char. I'm getting a lot of char. Sweet, char. And there's like that fruity, cherry- Well, when you put it that um, way. Note in there. Yeah. Oh, when I come along with me on yeah. a walkabout. Yeah. Uh, it just feels different from the everyday. Mm, okay. Hmm. Again, not a real strong nosing contender. This one is giving me more than it did the first time around. You get more like but apple it's getting, peel. It's just like a little toasted oak and a little bit of that type of fruit. Not a berry, but like a crisp, sweet. Crisp. A crisp sweetness. A, a crisp sweetness. Like a gala apple. Ah, I get those like apple peel well, type of. It does have a little bit of apple. Yeah. I can't, there's really nothing that I hate about any of these. It's honey. Which is, it is honey. It's honey, it's tea, it's apple, it's it's pretty familiar. I, I I can't say that I dislike any of these. No. It's more of just like, which one do I like better than the other? Yeah. Um, I would happily drink any of these. All right, so we've gone through round two. We have. We've gone through these two times. Mm -hmm. And here is the, 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 the kick in the head, Sarah. I, I think one of them might be, ain't that a kick in the head? One of them might be standing out for me, but one of them is just 
is not screaming, hey, it's me. And of course I'm talking about the William LaRue Weller. Right. You would expect a once a year VTAC LE 120, five, whatever it is, five-ish. Well, it used to be like 80. Proof. Right. Oh, uh, dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry. Oh, you're talking dollars. I'm talking in proof. the old days. And in the olden days, you uh, expect it to be like it's me. It's I'm me. Here. Exactly. We're talking about barrel proof to full proof range. So, doing four of them and then doing four of them again, you know. But I think the weeded aspect is throwing in like an extra curveball because they're yeah. all sweet and a little bit more light um, yeah, than what we're used to with the barrel proofs. Mm -hmm. But this is a point where we leave you, we start A-B testing these back and forth, ones back to back that we didn't have back to back before. And, and that then, might change things. And that usually does. Uh, and then when we rejoin you, it will be results time. So we'll see you soon. And we're back and you know what that means. It's results time. This is one of the toughest fly fights we have done. I I think that is because there was not a one of these that I did not like. When we were doing the 50 under 25, there were ones where were like, this is definitely last place. I actually don't like this one. And I right. like first place. In this one, there was nothing. the one that's in fourth isn't, I don't like it. It's just, I like this one fourth out of these four. Right, it's like, I like I it, still like it, but there's this tiny glimpse Little of something in there. It's literally nitpicking. Right. Okay, uh, enough about that. Let's go ahead. Uh, looks like we have a different order. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> What'd you put in last? Okay, fourth. I put bourbon D in fourth place. D, I put third. So that's closer. So, so let's we'll do, do that. that one. Okay. Sarah's fourth place and bourbon. Your third and my place. third place is a Weller foolproof. Oh, Weller now, foolproof. Pick. Asterisk. 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 It's a pick. It's, it's a, a pick. pick. It's a pick. It's a pick. Yep. My third place. Yeah, Weller foolproof. When we uncorked this by itself yep. recently, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, and I still really enjoy it. But when I compared it to these other three, it just had a couple of like sharp edges that that I wasn't digging. Sure, as much. and that's fair. And and uh, and uh, let me also say, Sarah, that I've not had them back to back, but I had a non-pick of Weller Foolproof at uh, OBC Kitchen. Having that, I felt like I liked it better than our pick of Weller Foolproof. Okay, so, fair just, enough. Just saying. I feel like we have to go to my last place now, even though it's your second place. Uh, okay. My last or I should say fourth place is Bourbon B. Mm -hmm. Sarah's second place is Bourbon B. And that is... Maker's Cast Strength. Wowzer, Sarah. And that's your last place. My last place. Well, it makes sense. It's literally in my blood. <laughs> right. Your family My whole makers. family comes from, They're from Laredo. Laredo. Well, so, so the winner... A, a is somewhere in the middle, and yes. we'll just go ahead and tell you what the winner is. Our winner... I'm Bourbon so scared. C is William LaRue Weller 2018, which makes my second place. And my third, Larceny, Larceny. Barrel Proof. I picked Maker's Cast Strength over Larceny Barrel Proof. I need to try this again on a different day. <laughs> Not that I want it to change, I just really want to know, do sure. I feel that way every day? Really cool fly fight, um, glad that we did it. Uh, and, and thank you guys for, for staying along with us for, and for, suggesting. Uh, for, for this, uh, yeah, for this journey. That's, that's really cool. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already and like to do so, you can click right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. You can click on, we hope to see you over there in those. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right. Until next time, drink more bourbon.